excited, guys. So some of this is purple mixed with gold, but this is so raw, organic, wild crafted sea moss at my door, ready to go. It smells great. It really smells really good. And I was worried about that. It smells so clean, like the clean ocean. <laughs> Getting ready to make my personal batch and test it out. Sanitizing the cleaning area. So I'm getting ready to clean this. Basically rehydrate. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Little bushes and stuff like that kind of creep me out. I don't know if there's like a little crab in here or some type of sea insect. So it's a little creepy. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Alright, so I have the sea moss that I've been cleaning. I've been cleaning this for quite some time now. And sea moss, I'm rejecting you. Because you want to have the cleanest batch possible. Going through everything, it looks really good, really clean. Okay, so I'm getting ready to soak it. This is spring water. And you just cover it and leave it overnight. I have to cover it. All right, let's go in the fridge. Okay, so we have a fully sanitized workstation. Freshly cleaned, everything. This is the sea moss that's been soaking all night with the lime. And this is one that I'm actually gonna soak today that I clean. Go ahead and add that water in there. Let it soak. Spring water. And I'm going to make this into a gel. And just a little side note, this is tri-color sea moss from St. Elizabeth Treasure Beach in Jamaica. Their sea moss looks different from the sea moss that you see a lot of people buying on Amazon. Um, aesthetically, it looks different, but the qualities are the same. The vitamins are the same. If anything, there's more. You got purple in here. You got different shades in here. Um, it's all good. Okay, and so there you have it. And I'm gonna set these in the fridge. And I will be trying these out myself. If you are interested in also trying it, contact me. Okay, everybody, so you guys have been following my journey and it's been a while one. And it's still just beginning, it's not over. This is the very beginning. So this is my CMOS gel that I made. And listen, I'm not a big fan of bushes, mosses, algaes, but I do like seaweed and I eat seaweed. I eat seaweed on sushi and everything. So I'm not really too worried about it too much, but it's different when you prepare it yourself and then you gotta go eat the gel. I'm not talking bad or nothing. I'm just saying it's something different. So you guys are trying it right here with me. So this is how my gel looks. Um, I'm going to work on making it a little bit more solid. Like I said, these are my trial batches. And I'm going to taste this. Okay, so it doesn't taste like anything really. It literally tastes like when you take a gulp of ocean water kind of. And then not the salty part, but like afterwards. It has a like oceanish flavor. I'm actually satisfied with that. I can see myself putting this in smoothies. I can see myself thick using it as a thickening agent. I'm actually going to try it as a face mask tonight before I go to bed. So you guys stay tuned for that. And this guy doesn't taste gross. It's very, very doable. God bless you guys. Okay, so I'm trying out the sea moss for a week because I just feel like I should try out my product before I start selling it to people. Um, it doesn't taste bad. It looks kind of funky just because it's really, really from the wild. It's not super bleached out. It's not grown to pool. It's literally the fishermen go pluck it out the ocean and bring it to you. Literally. I have to wash and clean it myself. Um, so if you get the product in a pound, you have to do the same thing. Um, but most likely you guys will be buying it in a gel. So that's great. Um, it'll already be ready for you. I'm working on how I'm going to ship it to people, where I'm going to ship it from, like what platforms to use. 
and I'm going to try the product out for a week and let you guys know how I feel. So stay tuned.